Hey guys, this is Dia and welcome to Mom and Me. Today I will be sharing my night time routine. Actually, it's evening to night routine which I filmed two weeks ago but didn't got a chance to edit as we got down with bad flu. Now we are feeling better and before we go to India which will be in mid-October, I wanted to roll this one out so I can focus on India vlogs while we are in India which is going to be a lot of fun. So let's get started with today's routine. So here I am soaking the dal, a combination of chana dal, moong as I ran out of moong dal and urad dal. I will wash and soak it before I go and pick dhyani from school. Also two years ago I made homemade pickle which is almost finished now. So I decided to make a new batch for this year and it's ready right now. So I'll fill it in a sterilized jar, glass jar before leaving. Otherwise, kids will start eating. They cannot resist pickles just like me. I remember as a kid when I used to go to my nani's place, nani used to make huge batches of homemade pickle in summer vacation. And the best part was to eat the raw mango cubes that she had left out to dry after treating it with salt and haldi, the turmeric. So last two days, my kids were doing the same while I was curing the raw mangoes to make them pickle ready. So for pickle masala, I have used half cup split fenugreek seeds, a quarter cup split mustard seeds, one tablespoon of asafoetida, one tablespoon Kashmiri red chilli powder, salt to taste and mustard oil. So I heated and cooled the mustard oil before adding. Also, I will be setting up the table for study. As if I don't do it, I know we will not end up studying. As kids, all they want to do is play and run and have fun and just be kids pretty much. I'm not very strict on studying as they are only in kindy. But some days I get worried that I'm not doing enough like today. So I'm making sure I make them do their studies today. Now I'm all set to go and pick the honey up. Once we are home, it's only Dihani and I for next one and a half to two hours. So I will try to get some of her homework done, get the dinner sorted and also work on my current script before I go and pick Kushank up. Dhani came in and she saw the homework on the table. I didn't expect her to do it straight away. But she just freshened up a little, didn't change her clothes though. And she wanted to do a few activities that she found interesting. So while she is doing that, I will go ahead and boil the dal. The aim is to get her school homework done so that when Kushank is back home, I do not have to rush her to get the urgent important things done. As a parent, my biggest struggle is being consistent. I understand that consistency is considered a hallmark of good parenting. If we set any rules or routines for our kids, we need to have consistency. If we want to discipline, we need to have consistency. I get that. But then life happens. Some days you're tired. Some days you're overwhelmed. Some days you're not well. Some days you're too busy. And consistency slip off your hands. And before you know it, you need to start all over again. Does that happen with you guys too? If possible, please share your views in the comment section below. I'll really appreciate that. We are on the way to pick Kushang, stuck in the traffic right now. I used to pick him at the same uh, time as Dhyani. So after I would pick Dhyani from school, I would straight away go and pick Dhyani, Kushang from his daycare. But it's only two weeks uh, before we stop his daycare and he really wants to play a lot with his friends. So he told me, mom, come and pick me late. So I'm going uh, now. It's five o'clock right now. I can pick him just before six any time but it's better I pick him now so that we can just continue with our day so I picked Dhyani and so after I picked Dhyani from school uh, we went home and I did a little bit of prep for the dinner so that it's easier when Kushank is home um, some things are done <laughs> when two kids are together they drive me crazy sometimes and don't let me work so a little bit of preps will always go a long way. What are you eating, Danny? Cracker. Which cracker? Seed cracker. Seed cracker? 
Hmm. You like it? Hmm. I love it. This is not seed cracker. This is unhealthy cracker. <laughs> Well, for me, I am working on it. I am working on bringing one hour study each day as a routine in my kids' life, but I'm still nowhere near it. Sometimes I'm harsh on myself. Sometimes I'm harsh on them. Then I realize they're just in preschool and kindergarten, and they have all the time to study. Other days, I feel like they need to get into a habit. to sit and study yes, for 30 to 40 minutes uninterrupted as this will be a good foundation for coming years well when you manage home making motherhood work from home kids then you cannot be perfect in everything i juggle in between these roles some days one take more weightage other days the other one take more time and attention doing everything every day and to the perfection is unachievable for me for now so this particular day study has taken more weightage as i was a bit guilt struck once both kids are home they will spend some time outside not as much as i want them to but anyways they like to be glued at home always and want to spend time indoors these are the last few weeks and i tell them to enjoy their balancing bikes as technically they both are now grown up and ready for a bicycle but we are just waiting for us to return back from india before we buy them new bicycles so once we are back inside i will keep sweet potatoes in oven for roasting and meanwhile i will get Uh, both the kids ready then i will make kushang do some writing too if he is willing to i never really focused on dhyani in preschool to be honest but for kushang it's different as with dhyani he is also catching up on study i think everything becomes so easier with second child i am glad that in school they are only one year apart so their studies will be very similar and dhyani can teach kushang too she does it even now when she is doing her reading practice as a big sister she ask him for nix of letters and ask him to blend three letter words wow what else do i want your kids get trained whatever you train them to be if you train kids to study on their own or while you are cooking or your elder one teach the younger one then i guess they get used to it दाल रेसिपी दैट यू केन मेक विथ पराठास इफ यू डोंट हैव एनी फ्रेश वेजिटेबल ऑन हैंड so to a pan i have heated 2 to 3 tablespoons of oil then added jeera few cloves of chopped garlic and sauté garlic for few seconds then add cumin powder coriander powder turmeric and red chili powder then add one chopped tomato you can add the tomato while boiling as well if you want it to be mashed completely in dal next i will add boiled dal and bring it to boil Once it's boiling I'll add fresh coriander and half lemon juice and dal is ready. It will get a little bit thicker after you turn the flame off so do not keep it too thick otherwise it will become cakey and when it's time to eat and you will not enjoy it. I will serve this with spicy paratha.
So now I'm plating the dinner for kids. They love the spicy parathas. Not sure about the dal yet. We'll find out soon. So I will also serve them with a leftover ghee that I had from yesterday. Tiani didn't love the dal, but Kushang did, and he asked for second serve. So kids are eating the dinner, and by the time they will be done, the sweet potato will be ready too. My husband is trying to eat a special diet for weight loss these days, so I'm making him roasted sweet potatoes today. I usually do join him in weight loss dinner, but some days I am super duper hungry that I choose roti over low carb diet. So today I will be eating one paratha, one cup of dal, some tomatoes, and sweet potatoes. I enjoyed this meal so much. I tell you. After dinner, kids are playing in their room. This is the time when I clean the kitchen and I ask kids to clean up their room. Tidy the bed, fill their water bottle, go to washroom, do salt water gargle, especially if they have eaten something sweet. I will also pack the lunchbox for my husband for next day. Once we all are ready for bedtime, it's almost time for my husband to come home too from his work. He will have his dinner and kids will straight away take him to play cards. We have been playing this cards game since almost a month now and it's like a de-stressor for all four of us. Tiani tells me that she loves playing this game before bedtime as she gets happy dreams. We all four enjoy and have such good time together. I have observed that my kids love this time of the day most when their parents sit together with them un with undivided attention and play with them. From time to time, our routines keep on changing and I know this cards playing will change too as we may get over it or because we will travel soon to India. But before that time arrives, I wanted to capture these happy moments that we enjoy together. After this play time, Diana will start her 10 minutes book reading session. She brings a book from school to read each night. She is getting better at her reading skills day by day. And guess what? Kushank is already in the routine to sit and read a book each night. Both kids enjoy reading the books. Now, finally, we call it a day. Since past one week, I have kind of trained kids to go to bed all by themselves it's only been a week so i'll keep you guys updated on this uh, so what i do is i turn the lights off but have the diffuser light on and once they are asleep i go and sleep in between them i take this time to unwind work on my video or clean the house depending on what needs to be done I am now slowly transitioning my kids to sleep on their own. But to be honest, I am not at all in hurry. So guys, this is our current nighttime routine. I hope you enjoyed watching it. And thanks for coming back to mom and me and watching this video till the end. It really means a lot to me. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.